All right, Tabitha here is really, really nervous because she got proposed to. It was a beautiful ring, and that thing is gone. Hey, Tabitha. Hi, hi. Morning. All right, so what happened? Um. Well, so, yeah, my fiancé, he proposed with his grandmother's ring, and it it meant a lot to him and to his mom, obviously, and, and it's a beautiful ring. Uh, so, you know, it wasn't like, oh, thanks. It was, I really, I loved it. And uh, right now I'm on a business trip. I'm out of town um, and I've lost it. And I have like done everything. I've retraced all my steps. I've every, every possible place I was, I have, it's just nowhere. And I mean, I do, I, it's a little big and I play with it nervously. And so I don't know, did it fall? I don't know what happened. And so now I'm wondering like, do, do I tell him? Do I wait to tell him in person? Do I just mm. not go home? Like what, like what am I supposed to do right now? I, I, I don't know. I feel like we've taken this call in the past. And the truth of the matter is from time to time, a woman will go out and and find a similar looking ring, and the dude never figures it out. <laughs> he he like true. never looks at it a second time. Um, I wouldn't recommend that for you, but I mean, you gotta come clean, right? I just don't know how to do it, and I don't know. Do I do it now before I come home? I mean, you know, I do run the risk of him going and and you know, he'll say, "Oh, well, don't come home," and he'll say it jokingly, but he'll really mean it. Like, I don't. I don't know. Like, this is a big deal. I don't know what to do. How do I tell him? I mean, is, I it, him? is it at all possible to try to replace it? Or is it so customized that he, you'd know instantly? It's like vintage, right? Yeah, it's got all this. It, I mean, it was his grandmother's. Mm-hmm. So, Girl, I, I did, mean, did you look down the sink in your hotel? Like, you, you swear you looked everywhere? Yeah, no, I've been through all the all the things. Like it, and it is, I didn't do the sink in the hotel room. I I need. I guess that's a thing I need to do down. But there's no. I, I don't know how it could have gotten down there based on how the, the sink is. Um, uh, I one hundred percent swear to us that you didn't toss it down there purposely because we've taken that call also. <laughs> yeah, where yeah. they didn't really like the ring. They didn't like the so ring. They were just trying to get rid of it, or they were trying to get oh, an no, upgrade. No, no, mm-hmm. no, 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 no. I love the ring. I love the ring, okay. and and the ring is for, yeah. That's no. All right. Well, no. well, well why know, why, why put it off? Good. Like, I think that I would tell him immediately. And when are you supposed to be back? I'm supposed to be back tomorrow. I, I think I would tell him immediately because his initial reaction might be super heated, but once he has 24 hours, you know, maybe he'll settle down. I mean, but you're going to do it now? You want to do it in person? You're going to have to tell him one way or the other. I feel that as soon as possible while you're you're still frantic because I'm like, if I called my husband was like, oh my God, I'm going to re uh, like book my flight to come home later because I have to find this ring. I lost this ring. Like if he heard me frantic, then he wouldn't get mad at me. Or losing it mm-hmm. and be like, oh, crap happens, you know? Like, if you sound actually, like, remorseful and, like, I'm going to change my flight and come back later so I can spend more time looking for this ring, call him while you're still frantic and feeling really guilty about it. And I don't think he could possibly say, don't come home. Do you want to practice remorse here? Because Mo can play the part <laughs> of your husband if you want to try it. I'm I'm really remorse. I mean, I don't have to practice. I'm really remorseful. <laughs> Sounds like it. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like all you have to do is tell him the same way you're telling us. He'll understand. I've been there before having to tell somebody I lost something they bought me and it was jewelry and it was really expensive and it was hard, but they didn't get as mad as I thought they would. Or, or we could use my theory where you say something so outrageous in the beginning <laughs> that the reality doesn't seem that bad. So you say, oh my God, on this business trip, I slept with three guys, oh, and he goes, yeah. "Oh my god!" And you're like, "Ah, oh, nah, I just lost the wedding ring." <laughs> He's gonna be like, "Oh, <laughs> what's the big deal?" Why it might three guys? <laughs> Why not just one guy? You gotta pour it on. <laughs> you really? I mean, it's an antique grandmother's <laughs> ring. It's gotta, gotta be thir- it. gotta be three. <laughs> three dudes. <laughs> one. Sometimes one's not enough. <laughs> Minimum. That man three might dudes. have a heart attack flat <laughs> on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I might have a heart attack just listening to that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, there's wiggle room there. You could go two, four, whatever. No. <laughs> Monica, good morning. You're on the Burt Show. Hi. Good morning. I I just say that she really just should come out and tell him she lost it. Yeah. But then just a real red flag that she said was that he would he would tell her don't come home and really mean it. So if she really feels that he would really mean that, 
uh, I mean, Dobby and Mo are totally right. You lose stuff, it happens. Um, but I would be honest, and then I would just reanalyze that him telling you not to come home really is what he means. So you're not that's endorsing kind of- telling him that you slept with three people no. and then saying, no, that's not it. I just lost the wedding ring. You're not into that. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's going to work out okay. really well. All right. I, I really don't. Okay. Um, I mean, she could try it. And see <laughs> just want to run it up the flagpole. Like, that's, that's what a voice of reason sounds Yeah. Like. <laughs> As a woman, I think she sounded uh, more like worried about our friend that's saying, if he tells me not to come home, he's going to mean it. Yeah, and I don't. That- that freaks me out a little bit. Yeah, Tabitha, you, you don't really mean that. I mean, that's probably the worst case scenario playing through your head, but that's not even reality, right? I don't know. I mean, his family's so important to him, and his mom, I mean, she's, she's uh, I, I guess she's one of those, you call her a force of nature, maybe. Mm-hmm. So um, it's also fear of her later, I guess, too. Listen, I get it. It sucks, but you're human. These things happen. It was a mistake. That man, I don't think he's going to react like that if he does. Well, you got a whole nother problem. Or maybe you could relocate. Just or stay that. there. Yeah, move there. Move and just stay there and never come back to Oh, it. to the business trip. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, we got some red flags we'll back. back home. Don't yeah. come home. <laughs> Stephanie, good morning. Hey, good morning. I just wanted to say before she leaves the city, do the St. Anthony prayer. Yeah. That, yeah. Thing, oh. that thing works, man. Yeah, we've seen it work. I really think St. Anthony is the one just waiting for your call. Every time... That I have done this. Do you know the St. Anthony prayer? Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't even think about that, but yeah, yeah, I'll do anything at this point, yeah. If you're, <laughs> that's a lot of yes. If, <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you're listening and you've never Googled it, if you lose something, I'm telling you, this is my former mother in law told me about this, and it's worked every time. Like St. Anthony's just, he's just sitting there waiting for a call. And every time that I've prayed to him, the item has been found. So you really ought to look it up because it works like 100% of the time. It's the Bird Show. The Bird Show.